Are you tired of working with dots and each time that you want to create new component or system, you have to create the classic C-sharp script and delete all of the crap that they have in here? Well, I have got a shortcut for you with which you will be able to define your own script templates. So you will be able to just right click, create, search for your dots templates and you will be able to easily create the authoring script, component script and iSystem. So when I try creating the authoring script, which always takes quite a lot of time to create, we can see that I already have all of the stuff that I need in here. To create your own script templates, make sure that in the assets you have folder that's called exactly editor. In it, we will need to create new script, which I will call create script templates. In here, we can delete all of the functions. We don't need it to be deriving from mono behavior. We don't need any of these using statements we'll just need using Unity Editor. And this class will also be public and static. Now you will want to create public static function for each of the templates. So I will have template for the i system, component and for the authoring script. For each of these, we'll need to add the attribute menu item, where we'll need to specify the path. So always it is assets and then you can create your own folders, but I have it in the create folder then I have created folder.scode in which I have the template which is called iSystem. And you can also set the priority if you want. So we also have a menu item for the component as well as for the authoring script. And for each of the templates we will need to define a path. We haven't added any templates yet so we will input the template path later. And now we will use the project window utilities to create the script asset from template file. So we are telling it that when we call the create i system void, it is going to create script from the template file on the template path that we specify and the name will be system.cs. On the end of the name you need to have cs because it is c-sharp file. And now we'll get to creating these script templates. So just open your windows explorer and create new text file. At the end of the name of the file you should have .cs, .text and now we can just drag it to unity. So you can see that it says .cs, but it is actually a text file. Now I have all of these three script templates that I want, so I will just open each of them and modify them as I want. So I have set the template of the component of the iSystem and of the authoring scripts. If you want to use the name of the script anywhere in the code, you have to write it like this. You can add any namespaces, functions, classes, comments, and everything else you want to have in your templates. Now we'll go back to the script create script templates and we'll just need to fill in the template paths. So in my case, the path for the iSystem file is in assets, editor, and then it is iSystem.cs.txt. So make sure that all of the paths are correct. Now we can save the script, go back to Unity. And when we just right click in the project, we can see the create, then we have the .scode folder that I have created in which we have all of the templates. So I can try creating, for example, the iSystem. So I call the script my system test, and we can see that it also changed the name of the struct in the script. And we have all of the namespaces, classes, as we have defined them in the template. This seems like a small thing, but if you are creating hundreds of dot scripts, it is really going to save you a lot of time. I hope that this video was useful. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down to the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in next videos. Bye! Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you are looking for a Unity, C Sharp, or Bolt tutor, then I am here for you, so feel free to send me a message to my Gmail and take a look at my website for more info. I can help you with your personal projects or teach you anything about game development you would want to know. You are welcome.